Come on up, look. Hey guys, Vermin here, and today I'm bringing you guys a really special tutorial. I don't know if anyone else has done it yet. If anyone has, um, please let me know in the comments. I haven't looked it up or anything. I know I've looked it up in the past for a tutorial, but I didn't find any videos, so I'm assuming that I'm first. I may be wrong, though. And what I'm going to show you today is how to do a CC vector blur in Sony Vegas. Now, normally, uh, you, people can only do this in After Effects. You see it in a lot of Reddit. It's kind of like an aqua web-like effect. And I'm going to be showing you guys a way to do it without any plugins at all. And what you need is Min and Max. Uh, the way I found this is I was just kind of clicking around through the effects and I saw a min and max and you can uh, see that's kind of like a vector blur so you can just go ahead and drag it on and you can see it becomes really bad so what you want to do is just kind of tone everything down by a bit and just kind of play around with it each map is kind of different but you can see there's like a vector blur effect right there and then you can add a color correction onto it to make it better. It's not that good, but it's just another way to show that um, Sony Vegas can do almost anything Adobe After Effects can do. If you guys also know if there's any better ways on how to do these, make sure to comment below. This is also another tip, the horizontal range, the more you add, the kind of darker it gets. So you want to try and keep that a little light, but you still want it there to kind of create the octagons. Just want to play around with it till you find a good one. And the way to dye it down is here. I'll get rid of this. Um, if you want to do it uh, real time, uh, vector blur, just split where you want it to begin and split it again where you don't want it anymore. Go ahead and right click the clip, go above it, insert a new video track. You guys have all heard this before. And then paste it. I'm going to go ahead and press U and delete that audio track. And then what you'll do is you'll just drag it on, tone it all down, and then what you'll do is you'll fade offset. And then the effect will slowly die down. So that's it guys, um, thank you for watching, make sure to thumbs up the video and get this video spread and maybe in future edits for Sony Vegas we'll see this pop up. Oh, one more thing guys, if, you, um, if you're going to add Twixer, you're going to want to RAM, not RAM, um, you're going to want to render it out and then just drop the, uh, the clip in and do the exact same thing, that way you can split it with Twixer. If you don't really understand by that, uh, I recommend checking out my Magic Ball Looks tutorial. I give an example of that, of how to split clips with Twixer on. Anyways, guys, thank you uh, for watching. Make sure to rate the video, and I'll catch you later. Peace.